Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is part eight of Tableau Desktop Certification Series. Before starting this video, if you have not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for upcoming and interesting videos. So without any further delay, let's get started. First question of the video is dashboard is a collection of dash options are several workbooks, several worksheet, several story point. Right option is several worksheet. To know more about this, you can refer this article. From here, you will get the idea what is worksheet, what is dashboard, what is story, and what is workbook. Okay. I will provide the link of this article in the description box. So the right answer is B. Next question is how to duplicate a sheet? Let's create a sheet add any randomly dimension and measure so how we can duplicate it we can right click on the sheet and go to duplicate okay now you can see the sheet is duplicated let's see which option is matching with this go to worksheet menu then duplicate this is wrong right click on the sheet tab duplicate this is right answer the right answer is b To send the information between sheet dash are used url actions highlight actions filter action and none okay let's say we have created two sheets and here instead of using category used subcategory okay now create a dashboard and drag sheet one and sheet two okay so from here we can go to dashboard or click on action and we can apply action filter action here okay and click on okay when you click on the any of the value from the sheet one it will show only the value that is associated with furniture and same for here as well okay and you can enable a filter option from this icon as well when you click on it it will enable okay so the right option is filter action that is option c next question is what are the types of device preview options available in the tablet options are default desktop phone and laptop to view this you can click on this device preview and from here you can see these all options are available that is default desktop tablet and phone so here the wrong option is laptop except from this all are correct next question is where do we publish tableau workbooks or dashboard options are tableau desktop tableau server tableau reader this is quite simple if you are working with tableau you know we publish our workbook or dashboard on the tableau server that is our option b next question is what is the correct way to apply one font to the entire workbook at a time options are format format font format title and caption format fields label format workbook so if we want to apply the same font on all these questions so how we can apply it the first one is we have to go to format then go to workbook and from here we can apply the font okay let's say we want to apply this color or we want to change its font to new times roman okay now you can see the font is changed okay so the right option is format and then workbook that is option d types of actions available in the tableau options are filter action highlight action go to url go to sheet change parameter change set values all of above to check 
what type of actions available in the tableau you can go to dashboard go to actions and when you click on add action so these are the actions available in the tableau filter highlight go to url go to sheet change parameter change value means all options are available so the right answer is all of the above that is option f let's move to the next set next question is action run option can be set to select all apply options are hover select menu and highlight to check it out go to dashboard go to actions and then go to add action and then go to filter okay you can see run action on hover select and menu so from this a b and c options are matching and d is incorrect let's move to the next question what best describe a filter action in the dashboard options are display a hyperlink that user can click to access additional information online this is wrong display a card by which user can adjust the filter selection in the dashboard this is also wrong target sheet is filtered out based on the selection of the source sheet this is right if you can check out this example when we click on this as you can see target sheet is filtered out based on the selection of source sheet okay so the right answer is c next question is what are the possible methods to improve the font readability select three options options are make the font as bold this is right we can make the font as bold to increase its readability increase the font size this is also right we can increase the size of the font to make it more readable make use of underline this is because underline doesn't make any impact to increase its readability make the use of brighter color this is also right the right answer is a b and t next question is we need to make the title on a dashboard italic what is the menu we need to select options are show dashboard title right click on the dashboard title select edit title dashboard tab and layout tab so let's show the dashboard title so first option is wrong as show dashboard title is used to show the title of the dashboard okay second option is right click on the dashboard title go to edit and if we select it and use this i icon and click on it you can say the icon dashboard title is changed to italic so this is right option let's check dashboard tab and layout tab as well let's go to the dashboard tab and if you can see it we get the option of show title or high title we doesn't get the option of to add the dashboard title okay so this is also wrong and in the layout tab we get the information about the settings of worksheets okay this is also wrong the right answer is b next question is a story point can contains either only worksheet or only dashboard but not the both true or false the right answer is true let's try it out let's drag a dashboard and when we drag a sheet you can see we are getting the option to replace it not to add both okay when we click on it you can see it is replaced by sheet so we cannot use both at a time so the right option is true next question is we need to apply bold text formatting to the rows or columns separately independent of each other what is the best approach for it options are text on the mark card row tab or column tab on the format font pane the tab on the format font pane worksheet menu font let's try it out let's go to any of the sheet and drag order data as well so we have rows and columns the first option is text on the mark card if we go it and make it to bold and click on apply so if you can see these values only change but the header is still re remain same so this is wrong answer so let's reset it go to worksheet and go to font so there is a no font option under the worksheet so this is also wrong 
now try third and fourth option go to format then go to font so if we click on the sheet and try to change its header to bold and apply the same color as you can see the same color is applied to the header of row as well as the column okay and same from here as well if you click on the sheet and you can see the same color is applied to the all but we want to apply the separate color or bold formatting to rows and the columns so for this we can use a row tab or columns tab so if we go to header and click on bold and click on this color you can see the color is changed and if we go to the columns tab and go to here click on the bold and let's apply this color you can see this color is applied to only these specific rows okay so the right answer is option b let's move to the next sheet next question is select the best option that describe dashboard action select three options options are can be used to link sheets to other sheets in the workbook this is wrong this is not a property of dashboard action can have multiple source and target sheet this is right if we look at this example we have just one one source sheet and one target sheet but we can have multiple target and multiple source sheet as well okay so this is right run action on can be set to hover select or menu this is we already discussed in the previous questions can be set to filter highlight or go to url this is also we have already discussed in the previous questions so b c d are right option next question is what are the dashboard size options available in the tab you select all apply to check it out you can go to this drop down go to here you can see we have fixed size automatic and range so a c and d are right option next question is select the objects that are available in the tableau dashboard select all apply options are vertical container web page video extension url link and data story so if you look at these these are the total number of objects available in the dashboard okay so that are horizontal vertical text image web page data story blank navigation download extension and ask data so check out all type of objects and what is the use of each of the object so it is very important you can expect one question from this okay so from our options vertical container is right so this is present here web page is also present video is not present extension is present url link is not present data story is present so the right option is a b d and f a b b and f next question is floating options allows to overlap the sheet in the dashboard true or false so the answer is true to know more about this you can refer this article you will get the idea of what is the difference between tile and floating so if you come here you can see overlays graphics so by using floating we can overlap the sheets okay i will provide the link of this article in the description box the right answer is a last question of the video is which statement accurately describe adding a dashboard layout for a mobile device so one point to remember here is portrait mode are best for fonts and landscape mode are best for desktop versions okay so let's check out each of the options dashboard design in a portrait mode are optimal for viewing on a phone so this is right dashboard device layout changes will be saved between workbook this is wrong only workbook published to tableau online support mobile layout this is wrong dashboard changes made for one devices will be applied to other devices as well this is also wrong if we apply the changes to the desktop layout so it will not be implemented to mobile layouts okay so this is also wrong so the right answer is a
that's it for this video thank you so much guys if you like the video please do like share and subscribe and stay tuned for upcoming videos